The main components of the project is about harnessing water in the Kingdom of Lesotho on the Mahalen River to be specific. So there is a dam to be built around that area. Second component is about supplying some of the communities, especially towards the south uh, of Lesotho, uh, for their livelihoods. We are expecting that where possible, uh, the, along the conveyance, there may be some production of uh, more hydropower. Uh, another component of the project, of course, then is about supplying some demand gaps uh, along the conveyance route uh, on the way to Botswana in the Republic of South Africa. But finally, we expect that uh, the main component in this case is about delivery of a certain volume of water to the Republic of Botswana. Uh, Orasicom was able to, working with uh, partners, identify a funding opportunity within the African Development Bank uh, African Water Facility and Leopard IPPF, uh, which are both housed within the African Development Bank. So the role of Orasogom as it stands now is to ensure uh, uh, robust scientific studies of the Lesotho Botswana Water Transfer Project up to the stage of uh, feasibility and hopefully up to design. The study for the Lesotho Botswana Transfer Project is made out of five components. Component one, the investment plan. Component two, the roadmap. Component three, pre-feasibility study. Component four, feasibility study for the dam construction. And component five, feasibility of the water conveyance or structure. The AWF funding has led to the completion of Component 3 with the support from other partners like NEPAD and PPF. Uh, Orasecom has taken the uh, integrated water resources management approach or what we call basin-wide approach uh, so that the four countries, they come together, they plan together and um, they develop their resources together. The pre-feasibility studies also appraise the ecological sustainability of the project when completed. Factors like lower social impact, lower sedimentation risk, the natural side channel spillways were vital consideration to ensure overall lower environmental impact. The issues of uh, environmental sustainability are very complex uh, within the Orange Simco River Basin. Uh, the river basin as it stands is already very highly developed in terms of uh, uh, water harnessing infrastructure, dams, weirs and other abstraction methods. Within the provisions of uh, allocation of the water that will be harnessed, there will be a significant amount which shall be reserved or left behind for especially downstream environmental or ecological requirements. Of course, not leaving behind the livelihoods of those who live downstream. This is one of those projects that is uh, directly addressing issues of uh, climate impact. So by harnessing the water, which is relatively in abundance in Lesotho, to transfer it all the way to the Republic of Botswana, we are addressing a different environmental uh, imperative, which is the issue of uh, building resilience, helping Botswana to adapt to climate change. We have all signed the revised uh, Orasicom agreement, and these agreements uh, provide for um, member, member states to inform each other with regard to the development, uh, the, the issue of duty to cooperate, to make sure that whatever happens in, in one country does not impact negatively on the other uh, member states. In large projects of this nature, there is huge employment opportunities for people of different levels, from the highly skilled, skilled and even to the unskilled people. With the water that will be coming from uh, Lesotho will be mainly for the greater Haboroni area where it will supply all the domestic needs 
or the industrial needs. It is not going to benefit Botswana and South Africa only. Even Basoto are going to benefit a lot from it on agriculture and economic covering all angles. We will want to be climate resilient. We will want to be in a position to assure our people that they will get water supply. This project is quite critical. We have the good fortune of having neighbors that are willing to jointly develop this in a manner that benefits them every one of us. Because individually it would be challenging to develop a project of this magnitude. I myself, as a minister responsible for water and sanitation, together with my colleagues, we will make sure that this project is a reality.